Okay, so let's go read this line. And it's from a previous line in the book. So very random. Okay, so so iwaretara matamate mi oru. Close. That's actually okuru. Mi okuru shikanai. Um, so it's saying. Um, but so iwareta. So to say it like that. Who's saying it? Tara. The person thinking this sentence, or somebody else? Someone else. Hi. Perfect. So, in English, a lot of times we'll use the word "told" to convey this meaning. We have a different word for the passive version of you to say so basically when or if i was told that in case wins probably better so when i was told when? that i got the night well it's not shikatana, but uh, it's kind of similar in meaning randomly it's shika plus night can't do anything yep except for what Can't do anything. Mad damate is like quiet. Basically. Damate yeah. to stay quiet. Yes. And mi okuru is to see Hai. off. And see off. To... Perfect. 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 See, see someone and... to, to. Yeah, and I think we already read this section, so I was a little bit off when I read bubble but that was a good refresher for you okay do you remember what ps was in japanese Oshin. close so o is how that's read when it's not married so i'll let you think about that for a bit as we look at exile which shares this kanji so what do you want do you want to try ps again hi hi perfect and how about this word? Uh, mondai. Perfect, mondai. Problem. Nice. And oh, we just, uh, we we just finished this letter, and now we're reading the letter from the Duchess. Um, can you read the word Hi. that's in the bold for me? Kitsuita. Hi. What does that mean? Kitsuita. Kitsuita is two. Come to realize. Hi, to be conscious of. Yep. You know what motiron means? You probably will never see the kanji for this, but apparently there was. So I sh <laughs> motiron. Motiron. Of course I know what it is. Of course. It's, of motiron. course. Hi. Perfect. <laughs> okay. So let's go read the letter from the Duchess to Nebari. Nebari. If you ask me that one more time, like, what do you know what this is? And I say, I say, Motiron. And you say, yeah, what is it? I say, Motiron. Motiron, do you know? Motiron. Motiron, I know Motiron. I'll tell you, I'll tell you a silly joke at the end of the class. Um, my, my jutsu shi nebori, burin, uh, guran tsue. Perfect. Onata ga Onata Modote Kita Kotoni On Anata Anata ga Modote Kita Kotoni wa Mochiron Kisuite Imashita. So she called out him by his full name. <laughs> the magician never that, that's just how you start the uh, letters. Yep. So dear, kind of the eh. Tunabri. Oh. That's his first and last name, right? Hi. Nebari is his first name, and Furin Gorasu is his last name. Furin Gorasu. To the magician, Nebari Furin Gorasu. 
あなたが戻ってきたことには、with regard to your return,、uh, with, re with regard to you having arrived, もちろん続いていました。Of course I already knew. Yep, of course I already know、uh, you, I you, you came here. You know what mitomeru means? I doubt it, but I thought I'd double check first. This is to recognize.、Uh, this is, this is、uh, normally like a, like to acknowledge, recognize. Like I have to acknowledge it. So probably acknowledge is a better word. I can't spell that. So if someone is really good at something, I have to acknowledge it. Exactly. And that is a do verb. Can you read this sentence for me? Um, the Duchess had the Duchess recognized that perfect and、oh, acknowledges、skipping. that yes, she acknowledged that. And we got some more kanji to double check if you remember what's that in the bold. We got two words on this page, so we have again. Hi. Gen in, Hi. gen in. The other one is zen ryoku. Yep, zen ryoku and gen in. So, gen in is origin and zen ryoku is with full power. Um, So, this shares the first kanji with a word we just saw. Any idea how we might read this? Zen. Hi. Men deki. Hi. Zen men deki. So, Zen men. All the surface. Yep. All the surface is definitely a way to think about it. And it basically means like 100%. Yak top. 100%. Um, zen men teki.、Um, so, I started with Zen and ended with teki. What did it, What was this middle kanji? Men. Hi. Can you use the s e n t e n c e Hi. そのことは全面的に認めた。はい。その時は、at that time,、uh, that I... ことそのこと。あ、そのこと。はい。あ、uh,、that thing regarding that。はい。あ、認めた。I acknowledge。Completely. I acknowledge、exactly. everything. I acknowledge it completely. Yep. So here's a fun with wa replacing o.、Um, Sono koto. Sono koto. Sono koto o.、Okay. Can you read this word for me? Kakaeru. Hi. Do you know what kakaeru means? Kakaeru is to put on. Good guess, good guess. It does look a lot like those kind of words. Like, for example, it looks a lot like to me, tsutsumu, which is to wrap. That's the wrapping over there. But kakaidu is actually to burden somebody with something, to be burned with. Like a. To be、issue. burdened with. Yes, kakaidu, which is a bu verb.、Um, what was this to be burdened with word? Kakaeru. Hi, kakaeru. Perfect. Can you read this sentence for me? Oops. Uh, well, well, met to well, met to ga Monday o kakae te iru. Well, met was being burdened with a problem. Hey, perfect. Well, met is burdened with a problem. Um, real quick, Mani,、yeah. was. Was being, was being, is that a thing? Is that proper?、Grammar? Was being in English? Yeah, in Japanese, this would be that in a ta. So, kakai te ita was, was being burdened. But in there, this case, it is being burdened. Is, there's not a was. There's no. It's being burdened. Yeah.、There、and no it's was, currently it occurring.、Wrong. The issue is that we're reading a novel, and in English, we have a different grammatical rules for our novels. So, novels in English kind of are supposed to all be in past tense 
or all be in present tense. Like you're supposed to keep the tense and have it consistent. That's not the rule in Japanese. In Japanese, it's more natural as if you like ever try writing stories in English, we want to flip flop between different tenses. And that's what happens in Japanese. They flip flop depending on like action and things like that. And the main thing that normally tells the tense is like way at the bottom of verb. Something like that. So it's very much kind of intuitive. So because we're reading a novel, past tense is like pretty good to translate most things because you would, if you were doing actual translation job, you would have to do that because that's like the rule in English for our books. Otherwise, someone would be like, this book has not been edited correctly. The tenses go back and forth all over the place, you know? So was being in English is correct, correct form, but probably was being in Japanese is probably not a thing there. Well, not in this context. So was okay, being would this. be ta here. We do see kakaite ita. We do see ta ita in Japanese to mean was doing something because all languages have a way to do that past participle. I think that's called like the perfect. I don't know that we have. There's lots of ways to do past. One is called perfect past, and there's blah, 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 past, and all that stuff. And I don't know the grammatical terms for the different forms of past. Um, this is literally is Willamette is right at this moment has a problem that they're burdened with. That is the literal translation of this. If you were doing a semantic translation in the context of this being a novel, it is more correct to translate this in past tense because in English society, it was decided by somebody that English novels should be written in the past tense. But grammar grammarly, it is not in the past tense. And in Japanese, it's not in the past tense. So that just depends on, as a translation, what you'd want to do, basically. Um, can you read what's in the bold? Hi, top, sa, uh, in the bold, uh, ya, 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 yakuni, yep, yakuni wa, yakuni wa, hachi so ni, nai, so, kozo, nai kozo yue. So what does that mean? Yakuni wa tachiso ni nai kozo. Yakuni wa... Yaku is... Yaku is to... Grab. Not really. No, it's to throw. It's to throw. It's to throw. It does look like naguru. Naguru is a Oh, no, no, no. The yakuni, yaku. yakuni ends with ni. So we know this is an adverb describing tatsu, yakuni tatsu, but in and itself is its own thing. Yakuni tatsu is kind of, I guess you could say, like an idiom in a way, like a mini idiom. Uh, but yaku on its own is duty, like yakume. Yaku. Yakuni tachi so ni nai. Right. The boy that is not Sony, Sony Knight, it is not Sony. Right. It's not so useful. This, basically, he's not useful. Does he know for sure that the boy's not useful? Did he check this? Oh, he's saying Sony. It's right. His appearance exactly. is that he's not useful. Yeah, he looks like he's not useful. Exactly. So we're using so here because he's not, making a judgment based off of what it looks like. It's not yoni. It's not yoni. Well, but it's yoni so is a simile. You do yoni is used with facts. Uh, unless you're ending this with miedu. So you could say yakini tachi so. Hachinai yoni mieru or something like that, or mienai, like we saw earlier. So yoni mieru has the same meaning as soul. Basically, it's a so this is a lot shorter than yoni mieru. Um, so there's multiple ways to say the same yo, thing, but yoni on itself yo. doesn't have the same meaning as yo. So you'd have to add the verb mi e do in order to have the same meaning as soul. Because so is a judgment based off of your eyes and you do not know for a fact 
Yule is normally used for similes, like she runs as fast as the wind. That's not a fact. I'm just I'm I'm making an observation, but it's like a pretty observation. So is not necessarily used like that. You'd say like a mochido so nahon. That's a book that looks interesting. It's not a metaphor. It's not a simile. I just don't know for sure because I haven't read the book. So that's what that mm. is. He's making. He hasn't used the boy as a servant, but based off of his five minutes of being with the boy, he's pretty sure the boy is going to be useless as a servant. Um. Well, not even servants on here. He's saying a useless boy, probably. Useless. Slowly. A judgment based on on uh, observation. Hi. Next. So this right here was our 100% completely word. Start with Zen Men. What did it end with? Zen Men Teki. Perfect. Zen Men Teki. Nice. Can you read the sentence for me? Yakuni is to recognize, Hai. to acknowledge. Yep. And mitomeru is being described, the action is being described by the ni, which is zen men teki ni. Acknowledge completely. Hai. Uh, koto o. Here's the wall marking emphasis, but it's hai. actually koto o here. Hi, hi. Uh, so acknowledge the koto that is described by the inai. It is not. Koto hai. that is not yakuni tatte. Useful. Hi. So, so I completely acknowledge the thing that is not useful. Hi. So koto in this context is more like the fact, how I translate this, the fact of not useful. It's a generalizer. So their, their uselessness is uh, uselessness. recognized. Okay. Koto. Can you read this word for me? Wait, money. So yeah, in yeah. that previous sentence, the oh. koto is not dependent on what's come before the sentence that came just before. But if it was a no, then it would be a placeholder for something that was mentioned in the previous sentence, right? Hi. If there was a no, it should be a placeholder for who was being useless. Like the magic to see. Hi. Uh, koto here is acting as a generalizer. Rather than Hi. a you know, filler word. It's not a, it's not a placeholder. But it's talking about a whole category of things Hai. that is useless. Use, so uselessness. Hi. This one is chu mei. Hi. So chu mei is to basically to make research clear. Chu mei, which is a investigation. Investigation. Hai. Can we use this in term? Have you seen it come up in terms of detective work? Where he, I think it's only used in a scientific way. I think a detective work a would science. use a different word. I'm not sure what it would be, but what a tante would use. But I'm pretty sure it's just like a, the academic science uh, research word um, for investigation. Hi. Which is different than research, which would be Ken Q. Um, so I think this Q right here is very specific um, for like in the science category. I bet May does show up in the Hi. research for because that's just clearing things up. So it makes sense. Um, this word I'm sure you already know. What does it mean? Because like, I'm thinking of the word investigate as in like, investigate the crime or a journalist <laughs> investigating the the truth of the situation. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Hotondo. Oh, we came across this one. Hotondo is, oh. is like uh what hotondo? Hotondo is like a lot. Yeah, it's mostly hi. Supposedly, um Sosa, not with this country, Sosa, is the investigation as for like a criminal investigation. But I don't know for sure. I haven't mm. read the Japanese version of Detective Conan, so.
That's cool. It's it's kind of mm-hmm. interesting that a lot of the a lot of the vocabulary that we think would be the same would translate over mm-hmm. to Japanese. Not we'll have different categories, and then it'll, the the opposite mm-hmm. thing will happen in English, where we'll have one word that's in two different categories. So it's really interesting how that works. Mm. I see. Okay. So it's not a one to one mapping. Hi hi. That's why you can't really direct translate because you will you, sometimes you have to add meaning or drop meaning because a lot of words don't want to one translate because of that. You know, right. like if you're translating omo versus like kangaeru, that's not really going to work in English because they both mean to think. But if you're doing the opposite, yeah, I still you get... have to think context-wise and be like, oh, which one is it here? Is it omo or kangaeru? And have to add that meaning into Japanese. Mm. Yeah, sometime I would ask you to clarify that two verb. Oh, kangaeru and omo? Because... Uh, it's super yeah, easy. Yeah, I still get confused. Super easy. Kangae is like to tell. Mm, not, none of these mean to tell. They both mean to think. Kangaeru means that your brain is a tool. You're using your brain to combat like a problem, basically. And omo is your um, basic thoughts. So if there is a mind reader coming around wondering what you're thinking, they're going to catch up your moral thoughts. Kangairu, it would not normally what would come up. So this would be like thinking the word hi would become up. That would be under omo. Konnichiwa to omotta. I thought hi. Kangairu is very much like five plus five. How do I stop global warming? How would I ask that girl out on a date? Does she hate me? Oh my goodness. Oh, what what's going on over here? Like any kind of like questioning words is probably kangaeru, and something that we try to get an answer for something. So it means your brain is doing brain work. Mm. So that's how they're um so, different. So if you're doing a research or hi. an investigation, then you kangaeru. Hi 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 hi. You asking question and to elucidate the answer. Yeah. You omo, hey. it's like a self monologue. Yes, instead Omo's of saying things out loud, you say it to yourself. Exactly. Hi. Hey. And this that is, is also why we can't used translate. for opinions. Omo is also used for opinions because of that. Okay. Yeah, so sometimes you'll see. So you'll see omo out loud said more often than kangaeru, like tomota. You'll, you'll, you hear someone say that to act as a like softener, being like, I think blah, 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 like that feminine English, I think, word versus kangaeru, that kind of feels aggressive. Be like, I've been pondering on this for days, is what it kind of feels like if you said that out loud in certain contexts. Uh, so, yeah, right. exactly. yeah it's normally pretty easy at least a guess i think in most contexts but yeah it's it's one of the easier ones to separate some words are like way harder to separate and you're like ah but that one actually makes the very clean divide uh okay let's go read the raven so no gen in no humane Machutsushi Tachiga Otondo Yakuni Hatte Inai. Okay, so the um Machitsushi Tachiga, the magician, they at they yakuni tate inai, they were not useful. How not useful? Oh, they, they are not useful. They're mostly not useful. Hotondo, mostly not useful. Hi. And not useful towards what? Towards the human that's described by Soro Gen In, the, the elucidation of the cause of that. Hi, perfect. The investigation of the cause. That of that source perfect 
Perfect. So Mataku has the exact same kanji from Zen um Ryoku or Zen Men Taki. And it's another word that basically means completely mataku. Uh, mataku feels negative, I'd say. Like it tends to be used yeah, in negative yeah, connotations, so like really not at all. Tends to be what it means. I mean. Bonnie, I'm curious. Yeah. Yeah. This background picture. Hi. What do you get it from? It's so cool looking. I literally is it just from a started, storybook. No, is it a... I, I just Googled um office anime and it, I think it was like the like the third picture I found. I went, that one's pretty. Max is the nice. I don't know. <laughs> we should figure out which anime this in because the aesthetics oh, I'm of sure it's so not pretty, an like... anime. I'm sure this is just like one of those like CG background like things that that people make. I think I like also like tried doing like AI art, so it's ethical, you know, just steal AI art. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's cool. Very pretty. It's our aesthetic. Okay, so now I'm we're good. reading the book from the story. Which, this is the funniest line I thought. Wellmetto ga mondai o akaete iru koto. Sono gen in no kyume ni machutsu shi tachi ga kore made hotondo iie mataku. Yakuni tate inai koto wa zen men teki ni mito mito memas. Okay, so where I met uh, is burdened with akate iru koto. Um, Wait, what is he burdened with? Uh, the so this guy is basically a a subjective clause describing this koto. So the the thing that I'm talking about here, this koto, which is the the fact or the situation of where I met being burdened with a problem. Hi. The cause, the sono, Hi. sono gen in no kume ni towards the investigation of that cause. Hi. So the sono, the sono is to referring the to this koto. Hi. Oh, it's referring to the koto. Hi, hi. Yeah. Referring to the koto. To so that is koto. Hi. Hi. Uh. Oh wow, so that koto that koto almost act like a big huge wa topic mark particle. Kind me, of, it feels yeah. like it. It it does. It's like it just like grabs that. it grabs this huge chunk of everything that comes before it. Mm -hmm. The entire clause. Because the wa only mark a single like a wa yeah. will mark like a single um verb or a single noun. That's no, probably no, a pretty a good noun. way of thinking about it. I think that's not an incorrect. Mm -hmm. You can see a sentence with multiple kotos. I just want to let you know about that. Um, and it'll be listing a multiple very important events that will like prove that need to be listed. So I think of, I like I like this thing about the fact that blank, but that also works the same way as English as like a kind of aggressive topic marker in my head. So that mm -hmm. sounds correct for Hi. how that is used. Yeah. All right. So the the fact we okay. So yeah. towards investigating the cause, and that cause, the cause of Hi. the the cause of the thing that burden what we met Hi. with the problem. Hi. So basically, the, it's magici the, the magician. Yes. Hi. Um, the magicians, plural, machitsushi tachi ga, kore made up till now, otondo, mostly, ie, no good. Ie, yeah, no, Mataku, that's not no seriously. good. Uh, ie is not no good. Ie is just no. Dame is no good. So they've mostly, no, uh, mataku. Ah, uh, mostly, ie, mataku. Like, no. Seriously. Yeah, completely. Uh, 
Oh, so she she stopped herself mid sentence. Yes. She say they mostly, but then she change her correct herself. Oh, say so. no, it's not mostly. It's actually one hundred The thing that is useless. Right. It's zen menta kini. I must acknowledge mitome memas. Hi. So just so you know, this this ga is connected to this verb. Majutsu tachi ga yaku ni tatenai. So the koto is the generalizing of this event. All right. Like idea of the magicians being yaku ni tatsu. Right. They're not yaku ni tatsu just one day. They're yaku ni tatsu many days. All the time, you know? All right. All right. And I just realized something with the wa too. It's interesting. The right. first koto, she doesn't mark it with the wa because she didn't have to. This is the first time the koto occurred. Hi, hi, hi. So we know that she's talking about the 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 mondai o kakate iru koto. But the second time she uses the koto, she mark it with a wa because she's saying, I'm changing topic now. I'm no yeah. longer talking about the first koto. Mm -hmm. Now I'm talking about this koto, which is the fact that these magicians. Are useless. I'm no Absolutely longer useless. About the thing that burdened. I have to one hundred percent acknowledge that they're completely useless. Completely uh, useless. <laughs> those poor magicians can't do nothing right. Wait, wait. <laughs> I can only imagine how Nevery reacted this to the sentence. Like, like he can mm -hmm. only be. He's like, I agree. Too happy. He's like, he's grinning. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, make him smile. I, yep. Yeah. Only I. Only oh, I, only I could help you, obviously. The funniest thing.